Hello everybody. Today, Amiga OS 3.2.2 has been released. Now I know it's been a while since I've made a video. Um, sorry about that. I've, I've been under the weather for a bit of time and I had some real world stuff that I had to sort out and really videos were unfortunately not the priority at the time, but hopefully I'm back to making some more Amiga videos. So what we've got today is Amiga OS 3.2 update 2 or 3.2.2 and what i'm going to do today is i'm going to install it on my amiga 1200 which has already got 3.2.1 uh, installed and we're just going to go through the upgrade process just to show what it's like and everything and what you can do uh, from the hyperion website if you've already purchased um, it from from them then you should have a login for their website uh, login to hyperion then go to the downloads, then you go to Amiga OS 3.2, and then you'll see the update 3.2.2.lha file. Um, and you just click on that and download it. So I've got that in my downloads here, as you can see. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use 7-zip to extract that into a folder. And then, yeah, we've got our update 3.2.2 folder. Let's uh, go into there and see a whole bunch of files. So we've got ROMs and we've got ADFs. So ADFs are our floppy disk images. So there's a few on here that are, there's the main update one. That's the first one would run. We've got the modules disk and uh, also we've got the locale for all the different countries and disk doctor and, and classes. So we're going to be copying a load of these over to a compact flash card that I've got. So yeah, you see me uh, taking that out and then putting that into my machine. There we go. Then uh, you'll see that, yeah, we've got the CF card. Um, we've got the CF card here. So what we're going to do is we'll go to ROMs first. So I've got an Amiga 1200. So what I'm going to need first is this one at the top, A1200. And then the kickstart version uh, ROM that we're now up to is 47.111. So let's copy that ROM file and let's copy that into there. This is just the root of the CF card. Uh, let's get rid of 3.2.1 because I don't need that anymore just to keep things tidy. Uh, so we copied over the ROM file and then uh, we need the ADFs. So what we can do is uh, we can select ADFs, select the info file as well. Let's drag those two folders, well, folder and file over to the Amiga. So we've got the ADFs and then we've got all of our disks. Now we're not gonna need the modules at all because what we're gonna be doing on our Amiga, because I've got a ACA accelerator card, um, I have got the ability to do what's called map ROM. And what map ROM does in this uh, expansion card is it allows me to load up a kickstart ROM um, into the memory of the Amiga and uh, basically, I don't need to put in the physical uh, chips. That's our compact flash card sorted. That's the PC side of it sorted, really. That's, that's nice and easy. And um, and I think really with the Amiga, we celebrate a uh, update to the operating system, really. 3.2.2, these don't really come around that often. Um, unlike with Windows, I've been battling with Windows updates and Windows 11. Um, updating uh for quite some time now and uh yeah hopefully this upgrade on the amiga is gonna go much better than the windows side now just to make this video a little bit more complete um if you are just starting out with the aca uh 1233n which is the board that i've got in my amiga 1200 uh, then you will need to go to uh, individual computers websites, uh, go to the card, go to the downloads page and you'll need uh, to download their ACA tool um, for, th this is basically for setting up the card and um, allowing you to do the map ROM function. So if we click on download, uh, there's the latest version, we'll download that as well 
and we'll put that onto the CF card as well. So let's move over to the Amiga. Okay, so we're on the Amiga 1200. I've put in the CF card. And uh, what we need to do is a couple of things. So we've got the ACA tool. I've extracted that and uh, that can be found here. We've also got our kickstart ROM as well that we copied over. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to move that over into my devs folder. So move it into there. There we go, it's appeared. Because we're going to be using the map ROM function of the expansion card. So let's open up the ACA tool. Okay, so status at the moment, map ROM is off. Um, and yeah, we can switch CPU modes and things like that. Now you'll see here it has ROM file. So we can select the ROM file that we want. So we go to volumes, go to devs. There's our kickstart ROM file that we want. Click on OK, wait for it to load. Then we tick the option map ROM because we want that. And then basically save to startup sequence. There we go. And that's written that all for us. Now you can go and double check that work and see what it's actually done by going into system. S and then we can go to, uh, where is it? So it's made a backup, which is good. There we go, there's our startup sequence. If we double click on that, here we go. And if I expand that out, we can see that um, it's loading the module ROM update. And actually it's at the top, it's this top line, ACA tool. And then about the ROM file and where the ROM file is. Okay. And we can double check as well that this ACA tool is available because if we open up a new shell and type in an ACA tool, there we go. Uh, so we know that that is available to the system. Okay, so that's the kickstart part of it done. Uh, so really, we, we need to go through our ADFs that we got. Now, Now the beauty of having Amiga OS 3.2 is that we don't have to write to physical disks anymore. Uh, we can use them virtually. So if we go to our ADFs folder, here's all our disks. And what we can do is we'll find the first one. So that should be our update, double click on it. And there you can see it's mounted it there uh, for us on the desktop. Let's move that so you can see it a bit more clearly. It's just there. So double click on that. And then we've got an install in there. Let's choose our language. For me, it's English British. And then, okay, this program is going to update it to 3.2, 3.2.1, 3.2.2. Uh, so yeah, if, if you've got the original release of 3.2, then yeah, you can upgrade straight to the 0.2 release. So let's go proceed. Um, I'm gonna go intermediate because I tend to like uh, some options. I wanna do this for real, proceed. Uh, now it will install it into the system partition. Yep, that's where Workbench is installed. Choose yes. It's chosen the right language for me. I will proceed. Um, should the uh, following files be moved to system old startup, system startup sequence? Um, I'm going to say skip on that, namely because we've just done the map ROM function. So I don't want it to overwrite my startup sequence. So we'll skip for that for the moment. Then it's gonna go away and install a load of files. So it's probably gonna ask for the next disk soon. So we'll wait for that to happen. 
then it's asking the question okay identify what hardware we got it's correctly identified that i've got an amiga 1200 so i'm going to go proceed the installation of 3.2.2 is now complete oh okay that's that's good it didn't actually ask for any of the other discs that's quite surprising okay uh, so I need to remove that disk and then click proceed to reboot the Amiga. Well, it's a virtual disk. I don't have to remove it. Um, but remember, our map one function is going to kick in with the next reboot. So let's proceed and fingers crossed that this all works. Okay, the Amiga's just done another reboot now. That was probably the map ROM kicking in. And we're just waiting for it to load up. There we go. And well, it's got a copyright of 2023, which is a good sign. And there we go, 3.2.2 is installed. That was nice and easy. Much better than a Windows update. <laughs> so uh, let's just go to the about to just double check uh, what we've got. So release 3.2.2, yeah and workbench version looks okay kickstart rom 47.96 tell you what we can just double check with uh, have we got uh we've got what have we got show config will that show us what kickstart we're currently running uh, rom is 47.96 that doesn't look quite right does it no okay let's execute that aca tool command again and ah our map one function is off at the moment and ah okay so i'm wondering if it did it did change that um startup sequence even though i said to skip interesting okay well let's go with map rom again so this is good to know if if you're doing this update as well you might find the same thing that i'm coming across so let's go to devs oh i clicked way too many times there there's my um a 1200 rom so it should be um 47.111 click ok and then we need to tick that yes we want map rom and then yes save that to the startup sequence okay configuration saved right okay let's give the amiga a reboot okay and we've come back from a reboot and let's check again on the about page what are we running there we go kickstart version 47.111 that is it that is what we're looking for and that looks good Okay, so that's interesting to know. If you've got a custom um, startup sequence, then watch out because even clicking that skip button got rid of that setting. Sneaky. And I had to run that ACA tool after I did the 3.2.2 um, upgrade. But uh, there we go. So hopefully everything's going to be working. I I'm going to just plow away and just make sure that uh, things are oh, there's there's my sysinfo that I wanted um, yeah let's just do a speed uh, test just see how we're doing with uh, the speed so we're running at uh, 1.25 that's slow that is very slow oh interesting I don't have any memory anymore. That's interesting. Did I do something bad in that ACA tool? And the board is not found anymore. Interesting. Okay. We potentially found a bug. <laughs> we'll do one more reboot. Unless my card has just suddenly decided f to fail uh, just at this moment, that would uh, that'd be really bad. Oh, there we go. We've got our memory again. We've got our memory again. Um, and 
yeah we've we've got our kickstart version is correct but yeah we've we've got our memory so the card is working i'll just go run sysinfo again maybe it's a bug in Sif sysinfo let's do a speed test that's looking more like it okay yeah 7.44 times kind of the speed of amiga 1200 um yeah sure not i'm not sure what happened there um and let's just go to show config make sure that that's detecting yeah the correct memory allocation 126 megabytes ram there yeah an expansion yeah ata that, that that's all checking out all right um how bizarre okay i think we are good so one thing i've noticed is my right click is uh no longer working um i've still got the utility so that's that part's working but yeah the um right clicking so was that in my tools demon that was tool demons already that that's tool demon but um magic menu is that still running somewhere that might have been in a startup sequence as well the magic menu stuff right well hopefully this is a good video for you to know what the experience is like with uh, amiga 3.2.2 update um, I'm going to carry on playing with this and I might do another video if I find anything that is useful for you to know. Drop down in the comments how your experience of 3.2.2 has been um, and yeah, share your knowledge, what you found with it. Obviously, you've seen my experience with it, uh, with, with the install that is and um yeah uh let me know how it goes on for you as well so thank you for watching and i will see you hopefully in another video take care